We use a system called staging to talk about breast cancer. Staging systems really just give us a very, very rough idea about where the disease is and how much disease is present. We used to think that staging was the main decision maker for what kind of treatment a patient needed, but we now know that it's really the biology of the tumor cell that's the most important determinant, not only of prognosis, but also in terms of predicting which will be the most effective treatment for any given patient. But staging is still important. So stage zero breast cancer means a breast cancer that is still confined inside the ducts or the lobules and that those cells haven't broken out into the surrounding breast tissue. And we call that carcinoma in situ and that can be either ductal carcinoma in situ or lobular carcinoma in situ. That's stage zero. Stage one breast cancer refers to a tumor that's small in size and when the lymph nodes are not involved with cancer cells or are negative. Stage two breast cancer can refer to a tumor that's either a little bit larger, whether or not the lymph nodes are involved, or a small tumor but some positive lymph nodes. So that's stage two disease. Stage three means that the disease is more advanced but is still only involving the regional area around the breast. So that might mean that the tumor has gotten to be much larger than we expected or that there are many lymph nodes involved. But things are still localized in the area of the breast and the regional lymph nodes. And stage four disease means that the cancer cells have spread now beyond the breast to some other part of the body either to the bones, or the liver, or the lungs, or other organs. When breast cancer cells travel to other parts of the body, we call that stage four or metastatic breast cancer, it's still breast cancer. So the treatment is still based on the type of breast cancer cells that are present from that original primary tumor, and that still guides us in our treatment decisions. Staging is important because it gives us a little bit of a handle on how much disease is present.